Hi guys, welcome back. This is Code Forces round 900, div 3, and we're gonna solve the third problem, Vasily G in Chachak or something. So let's see what the problem states. The problem is like uh, they will give you three numbers that is n, k, and x. What does it signify is uh, we'll be given three positive integers n, k, x, and we have to determine if we can choose k distinct integers between 1 to n such that their sum is equal to x. That means what? Let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's say n equal to 10. That means uh, we have to assume that we have a set of natural numbers from 1 to 10 and uh, k value, let's take some k value like uh, 3 and x value is 7. Is it possible to take three distinct integers from 1 to 10 such that their sum is 7? So let's take three distinct integers 1, 2 and let's take 4. So we got three distinct integers 1 plus 2 plus 4 the sum value is 7. So if uh, we are able to get the answer we have to print yes they will give you these three numbers 10 3 and 7. If uh, there is some valid combination that is existing there we need to print yes. Suppose if they are giving x value as 70. Is it possible to pick three numbers such that their sum is 70? What is the maximum value you can get that is 10 into 11 by 2 right. You can get something like 55 only and that if you choose all the n elements and k value is 10 but here k value is 3 only if you take only three elements definitely you won't even get any value here that is less than 70 or less than 55 so it is not possible for x value equal to 70 the answer you should print no if it is not possible so uh, let's try to understand this with the help of an example so that we'll get more clarity they gave the values as 5 3 10 5 3 10 and what are these values? One value is n and this is k and this is x. What are they telling? Uh, I have numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I need to pick three numbers from here such that their sum is 10. Is it possible or not? We need to find out. So just uh, we'll try to brute force it. Brute force it means let's by seeing the solution. Is it possible or not? Let's see. Uh, is it, it, it is possible, right? One combination is like 5 plus 4 plus 1 that is 9 plus 1 is 10 or uh, 5 plus 3 plus 2 that is also possible or 4 5 6 7 8 9 no 4 5 6 7 8 no so there are some combination that exists so the answer is yes here so now there are other combination that is not there our main job is we don't have to find what are these numbers and all we don't have to find our only job is we need to say that uh, the answer is yes or no so what is the first thing that comes to our mind if you do it so 1 2 3 4 5 so let's uh, not think about anything let's understand that what is the uh, total sum that we can get suppose as i told earlier when x is 70 this is not possible right so let's think about a value when uh, what happens when k equal to n when every if we take the every number that will be the maximum total value right so for 1 to 5 if we take the sum of all of this it is 5 into 6 by 2 that is what 15 so I am able to make uh, numbers from 1 to 15 but the catch is they have given k value. I am should able to select these numbers, select a set of numbers. If I give a k value as 50 and all it won't work right. We have a k value, we have a set of k value like 3. Okay now let's understand that 10 is less than 15 okay it might be possible. The sum exists in the array but we don't know the k value the sum definitely exists. Now if we tell the k value as 3, I need to pick 3 means in this array from 1 to n, what is the minimum possible value I can get? So the minimum possible value for k equal to 3 that I can get is from 1 to 3, right? 1 to 3 is the closest minimum value, 1 to 4 will be more. But the minimum possible value for k equal to 3 is 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is the minimum value, minimum sum you can get. So how did I get the minimum sum? That is k into k plus 1 that is n into n plus 1 by 2 same thing we got it now we what is the maximum possible value maximum possible value is the set of all the highest three numbers so that is what it is 3 4 5 so 3 4 5 is what 3 plus 4 plus 5 9 10 11 12 so 12 divided uh, sorry this is 12 only so my uh, x value should be in the range of 6 to 12 but you might be asking a question there are many numbers right 7 8 9 10 11 uh, can we say that all these numbers can come here that is possible 6 is the minimum value 1 2 3 let's take 7 if we need 7 what should we do it is 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 4 is 7 8 means 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 5 is 8 9 means what uh, 
three numbers okay one plus two three three plus five eight not coming five six seven eight nine one three five can come and for ten five four one can come and for eleven five four nine ten eleven two can come and for twelve what is it it is the maximum number so how are we taking the minimum value is we take the closest bound that is possible for k that is one two three what is the maximum value possible that is the highest bound that is the last three numbers because it's in ascending order these last three numbers since every number is having a difference of like only one we can say that from minimum to maximum all the set of numbers exist and we just have to check whether the x value is there or not but the catch is here as you see uh, the n value can go till 10 power 5 and x value could go till 4 into 10 power 10 so in this case we can't individually go ahead and sum all of this so one thing is we have the formula but if we are getting something from the middle we need to think something smartly what do we do suppose this is 1 2 3 4 5 if you want to get the sum of all of this what should i do is i take the sum of all this and subtract the sum of 1 2 what is the sum of 1 to 5 it is just 5 into 6 by 2 right what is it it is 15 and what is the sum of 1 2 uh, that is 2 it is just 3 now if i subtract 15 from this that is 15 minus 3 it will be 14 13 12 so i can say that the sum of 3 4 5 that is 3 plus 4 is 7 7 plus 5 is 12 i am getting the value as 12 so this is the maximum value possible and 1 2 3 is the minimum value possible let's understand this with the help of a code now i take the minimum sum i take the total sum to minimum sum is 1 2 3 total sum is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 i got the minimum sum also what is the maximum sum that is possible that is 3 4 5 how am i getting it it is nothing but n minus k that is what 5 minus 3 F uh, 5 minus 3 is how much it is 2 only right so i am taking 3 into 3 plus 1 divided by 2 so uh, 3 into 3 plus 1 uh, sorry 2 uh, sorry 5 minus 3 is what it is 2 right so 2 into 2 plus 1 divided by 2 is the value for this and total sum i already have it for 5 so from this i am subtracting it so that i get the values of 3 4 5 so that is the maximum sum that is possible so if x is greater than 1 2 3 and x is greater than the maximum sum that is possible then i can definitely say that the value will be yes so this is the submission link if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments and uh, that's it thank you